okay you guys i know a lot of you is the beginning of the year or the year is it the beginning of no it's the end of the year and you all are joining a lot of um hair growth challenge let's get our hair long challenge and today i'm just going to share why i don't do all those stuff so i personally i don't do hair growth challenge i don't do um let's grow our hair in five weeks challenge in three weeks all those challenges i don't do it personally and i'll explain the reason why i don't do it and you guys can chime i really want to know why do you guys do it i really want to understand um i know it's like you know in the community let's do it let's get our hair long let's follow these set rules so usually if you don't know what i'm talking about usually people will create challenges and you know my camera is not straight <laughs> yeah okay i think that's better so people will create challenges and there's nothing wrong in challenges in things to challenge yourself um but what i see sometimes is that people create challenges and it challenges they might say oh don't um we're not going to comb our hair for three weeks we're not going to wash our hair for three months, four months, five months. We're going to use this particular oil all the time. You guys all remember, you, you guys remember the um, Jamaican black casserole challenge about 10 years ago? Yes, everybody was doing it. I didn't do it because <laughs> I don't believe in challenges. Um, and so everybody was doing it. Everybody was using Jamaican black casserole, Jamaican black casserole. And people saw results and stuff. That one, for me, if you're using a particular product and stuff, that's okay. But when it comes to doing challenges and you're given a particular routine to follow, I want to let you know that you need to be very careful in doing something like that. Let me explain myself. When you are doing challenges and the challenges are uh follow a particular routine when it comes to hair hair is very unique to the person not only because of the genetic of the person but it's also unique because of the lifestyle of each individual person because of their health especially the health of the individual person now give a case let me give you a case study so um sandy i don't know if you're sandy i'll say lady a so lady A decides to join this challenge and in this challenge that she's joining, they said, don't wash your hair, um, for two months. So in this challenge, we're not washing our hair for two months. We're only moisturizing, 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 and that is all we're doing. Well, lady A joins this challenge, right? Are you guys following? And, um, lady B also joins this challenge lady c also joins this challenge and they're going about this challenge now the difference between lady a and lady b and lady c is that lady a lady a has a scalp condition right and nowhere in the challenge did they say oh please disclaimer if you have a scalp condition don't do this challenge make sure you talk to your three colleges you know when you buy products they'll say oh talk to your or even medication or even supplements they'll say oh make sure you talk to your do doctor about the medication before you start trying it yeah but challenges don't have that they don't have that they don't have a go consult you know make sure that this is working for you make sure that you're not allergic to whatever 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 so lady a has a scalp condition and this scalp condition causes a scalp to develop folliculitis and blocked follicles all the time, which causes other issues, right? Unless they are properly cared for. Whereas Lady B has a condition that in which a scalp product buildup, she gets product, not even a scalp, her hair gets product buildup easily, whereby products are not able to penetrate into her hair well but she also joins the challenge now lady c does good she doesn't get product build up she doesn't uh, scalp is healthy everything is healthy our lifestyle and even our health is healthy whilst lady a has health issues she has diabetic she also has thyroid issue lady c might have something nothing 
okay so lady c is a prime candidate to have only to join the challenge whereby lady b and lady a are not candidates but do they know all they know is that whoever is running the challenge is saying oh do this because i'm doing it so after three months we're gonna get long booty crack length hair get it so you have to be very careful if you're going to join a challenge i'm not knocking challenges i'm just saying if you are going to join a challenge you yourself okay you yourself have to know yourself you have to know your hair you have to know what your hair can do you have to know your scalp you have to know your health you have to know a lot of things not only let me join this challenge because everybody's doing it and I don't want to be left out. Now, that is one aspect of joining challenge. Understanding your limitation, understanding your hair health, understanding your scalp health, understanding that you joining a challenge is not, might not be the right thing for you in 2024 or any time. You just create a routine that works for you. And not everybody's hair, not every scalp is created equally. So if some of you don't know, I am a hair coach. I'm a certified hair coach. So I have several clients from all over the world, from Kenya, from um, Nigeria, from Canada, from US, from the south of, you know, southern part of America, from, you know, from UK, I can name, go on and on, India. So I have several clients. So the way I treat them is individual. Whenever I start working with one client, I open a fresh plate. I don't use the routine from client A to this new client. So I, when you contact me, I work with you individually and I go, if you contact me and you're like, okay, I'm good. I can, and that's it. But if you contact me and say, okay, next month, let's meet again. Let's see your progress. And I meet, I've recurring clients like that so that is why it's important to have someone like me to help you out if you decide that your routine or your hair is not doing what it's supposed to do so let's move on to the next aspect why i do not like challenges um challenges as a way of you know that thing where you say oh somebody's growing we're doing a hair growth challenge so you're expecting to get mid back level okay so when it's time to report how did you do you feel defeated if your hair is not that long and most of the time when you are doing challenges and when people are doing challenges they're doing the, it so that to reach that goal it's like oh i gotta reach that goal i don't care if i'm doing other stuff but i must reach that goal so that at the end of the challenge i can post my picture of how long my hair is right so in so doing that you might be doing unhealthy stuff like for example let's say your hair is split and you do need to trim okay i'm a believer in trim only when needed let's say you really 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 badly want to trim but the challenge is afoot what are you gonna do you probably won't trim let's be honest with ourselves you probably will not trim your hair because you want to show that length you want to show that oh my hair is this long oh and i'm winning the challenge i don't know do you win challenges do people win stuff i don't know but I just want you to know that. Now, that is the second reason, okay? We talked about the first reason being that, you know, people, your hair is unique to you, okay? And you might suffer the health of your scalp. The second reason being that, you know, that feeling that you hold on to unhealthy hair, unhealthy situations in your hair, just to prove a point. Now, the third reason, three reasons why I do not like hair challenge natural hair challenge the third reason and this reason it just like i don't know i just don't like the aspect whereby we do all these challenges but do we follow up get it you might say oh i don't understand yeah so you do these challenges and you're like oh rah my hair grew what happens after the challenge is done do we keep up with that the accountability factor keeping up with all this challenge keeping up with did i do the right thing and all that stuff do we keep up with or do we do all this challenge just to like have bragging rights i don't know i always just feel as if when you do these challenges sometimes you just do these challenges for bragging rights and stuff i could be wrong 
so personally you will not see me come on my page um i have a facebook page with over 842 followers or so the last time i checked and i have a facebook group with over i think 130 140 followers but i will not post challenges so i'm telling all the people that are asking me can we do a challenge can we do a challenge now you've got your answer why i don't do challenges I, be, I believe in helping the individual individually. So you can come to my Facebook page, Discovery Natural, or my Facebook group, Discovery Natural group. And if you have a hair issue, you can contact me and um, send me a message and I will help you one-on-one. -on -one. Because what I tell you, you know, I want to know more. Why is your hair doing this? Why are you not retaining length? Did something change? Did you have stress in your life? Did you go through a divorce? Did you have blah 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 it can go on and on so yeah so i hope this helps you out um if you are joining challenges let me know why you join challenges if you're not subscribed please feel free to subscribe if this is the first time that you're watching me take a second to click on the subscribe button and i'll talk to you later thank you so much and see you in the next video bye